brothers, it's finally here. It's that time of the season again, El Clasico. And after all the epic encounters, you gotta say, stat man, this one has to be the most important in Nike V League's history. These guys are always one of the last season, no, all is on the line here. We are great, there's a title on the line. The winner will be crowned V League Premiership Champion, do you reckon? Look, the Pasco Vale have the wounds to men. North Melbourne want to do the double. They want to win the treble this season. And there's just so much at stake. $10,000 prize money, of course. And let's see who's lining up for North Melbourne. It's Cooper, Yankovic, Warfield, Kui Moo, Penich, and Brown. Those are the usual suspects. They're also, yes, there is that man. Good spot. Uh, there's also uh, Jason Barrientos, brother Johnny Barrientos, Priori, Guy Costa, what's possibly his final appearance, and Christos Apostolakis back in action for the big one. Pascoval have Ingram, Sinsek, Chavin Adali, welcome to the V League, Blackburn, Mazuski, Pilati, De Silva, Andre Caro, Chen Weiser. I'm going to beat you to it, Stat Man. What can you tell me about this, Chavin? Yes, yeah, he's a quality player. Currently, uh, he's been in the Australian squad and training in the Australian squad, so a good player to have in tonight's game, Chavin. He knows these uh, Pascoval and North Melbourne lads intimately through uh, national, national competition. Uh, good to see them unite their powers. I'll tell you something you now, the last the last five times these teams have played, you know what the results have been? 3-2, two, 2-1, two, two, no, 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 no. three, 2 3-1. Let me finish two yes. wins apiece and a draw. Does it get any closer than that? The, the, the goals are never over six goals in a game, is it, Statman? Yes, Neil. Can't move it forward to this place. It's a corner kick. Uh, North Melbourne as play resumes here. Priori tries his luck. Whoa! Oh, Breno with an elbow. Did I see that right, GV? Let's have a look at the action. Oh, run. Yes. No, oh, we're not putting it off, Breno. No, don't put it off. That's not fair play, GV. The commission's going to have a big say in this. That was an elbow to the face of Kevin. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, there was more incidents off the ball that Kevin didn't catch it. Tiago's gone in and given him one as well. Not good at all, lads. This is not what we want. It isn't an Italian wedding. There is no reason. Uh, we're not doing the chicken dance. Those arms should be down beside your, your waist, not in someone's face. I said, right there here. are kids, families here watching the game. We don't want to see that. Yes! Poor Vidi, how old you before? Nervous, milk and sack. What's a lot of nerves going through the manager's minds now? Absolutely. Oh, Diego Pirelli with a strike nice and early. I think Bicer had a cover, Neil. Um, but Priori has been uh, dangerous these past few weeks. Been the source of many goals for North Melbourne. You said that Priori, uh, that St. Weiss had it covered, but the Silky Giant was at the back post as usual for North Melbourne. I'm surprised the material one, James Blackburn, is not starting for Pascaval. I don't know what the thought process behind that is, because he's one that can wall up and probably get Pascaval off to an early start. You need a striker to strike it, don't you? Yes, that uh, man, but uh, so many different tactics with uh, the wealth of uh, quality out there. And even the silver now, oh, Chris, good save by Chris's Apostolakis. And you notice how uh, Apostolakis put it out of danger, snap man. Yes. He knew he couldn't hold on to it. Watch this. Hand. Straight out of the way of any danger. Bicer to bring it in. We've got about four or five hundred people in at the moment to start. He's just packed, jam-packed. And one lad who is out there is noticeably uh, Dinus Rousseau. It looks a bit like a giraffe out there with that uh, neck brace. All the best though, Dinus. She was in a car accident earlier today. Yes, we wish him a speedy recovery, don't we, Neil? Absolutely, stat man. Uh, the lads here, well, they're just trying to find their groove out there. Do you think any of the lads uh, feel the pressure uh, with such a big crowd watching every time, Stan? I mean, they no, used they're to used to it now by now. Uh, the last few minutes has been bumper crowd from these two teams. Two great clubs. Two clubs with a lot of silverware at the moment, haven't they, Neil? Yeah, you've got to say they're the two uh, biggest teams in the V League. Without a shadow of a doubt, they're an argument and streaming forward. Left oh, foot, oh, great follow up! And a great save by Chris Goss. The work wasn't over once Ingram hit it. Oh, there, he had no option. It went straight into the path of Caro, and you see that Christos, well, he did his best. He from the first shot, too, and he got down low quickly and saved it. And then the second effort was just as good, and it wasn't it? Absolutely. Chavin having a breather there, was he coming back on? Is that Mark Capsi Bird in there? Yes, it is. Jeez, he's a big miss tonight, Capsi. Good to see him out there with that cap on, though, Stat Man. You ever seen that hat before? Yes, it's an old favourite of his uh, Captain Bernard. Hopefully he'll be back soon. 
You know, seeing a bit of a hamstring injury, is that correct, Neil? Yeah, absolutely, the former New Zealand international, Oceana, player of the season. season. Chavin is on the ball. And he's a back to Caro. It's Pilati. This is good play by Pasco Vale. And De Silva, well, he knows he should have laid it off here. Yes, they did all the hard work. And Watch this. Said, and he said sorry to Breno too. Good on him. He's a team player. He knows he's done the long thing. But he, I'm sure he'll make up for it. Well, the golden boy. He's probably scored in uh, most of the El Clasico stat in. Yes, and the other one's not scored in the other one. Simpson. Big game player he is. Yeah, he can't very interesting to get on there. Look at him, Neil. Look at him. Is a review man coming up in the commentary box? Or what's got Jamie Blackman's got on now, so we'll set some fireworks, you know? Well, I know this is. Both teams move on the ball. Charvin wins out. What a laid back. De Silva. Oh, oh Christos. Christos Cooper and Moose that man. He's balls flying everywhere. All down on the froth. Watch this. Oh, look at that, Neil. A three-way froth. Oh, he's got desperation. Oh, my Lord. Oh, well, we saw Christos' brother, Antonius, that famous headbutt, just an hour ago. And that is desperation. We've just about topped it. Barrientos. What a dangerous combination they are from the back. Uh, Cooper and Barrientos. Chavin. Well, you can see the confidence in the lad. First game in the V-League, I don't think he's going to be rattled. That first game V-League rattled that we see so many quality players uh, deal with. He's played in the Nationals at the highest level, so I don't think he'll be able to move for something. Kuruba. And of Whoa. course, uh, he's a Futsal Rue player chief, and you've come up to get the view of uh, Shevin. This quality, oh, quality. Oh, quality personified Futsal Rue player chief. Yes, uh, Futsal Rue and uh, Renard Yield training for Futsal Rue. But uh, there should be a lot more players training with our Futsuru squad out there tonight on both teams. One comes to mind, Adam Cooper, Barry Antos, uh, and uh, nationalised anyway. You've got Garo and Silva, who are still waiting for their paperwork. Uh, James Blackburn also uh, has got the paperwork. But what can you say? This is one for the uh, purists. Absolutely, Chiefy. Just great to see uh, the Nike V League. And this uh, interstate froth is coming down. Everyone wants a piece of the glory. It's Blackburn who wants it. Blackburn's important. Blackburn could have a big game. He's taken on two there. He's oh, taken he on well. the uh, Gui and uh, Moo brothers there, Stan. Let me tell me about that combination. Gui and Moo. Gui and Kui. Great players, you know, it's not the Was that a foul there? Yeah, man, he got the foul. Yeah, he's a small fella, uh, Kui. Doesn't take much to uh, pull him down, but uh, Freaky Given. He's uh, well built. Just like many of the New South Wales player chief, he, uh, he just got that uh, physical aspect, you'd say. Yes, he's cool, calm, and collective. He uh, mentioned to us before the game that he has no problem playing on the uh, smaller courts. In fact, the court that his home ground is uh, uh, he's actually smaller than his court, so there you go. Outstanding! The die-hard fans here, especially the uh, younger generation of futsal players, absolutely thought that one was in. He's great to see him out there. Well, he, uh, he's at the Andre Caro fan club and the uh, Adam, Adam Cooper. Cooper fan club. So they're both out there. A bit of confusion there. You can't get a seat in the house, can you, Neil? It's full. It's jam-packed. People standing on tables. It's ridiculous, Neil. They're waiting for the opener. Who does it look like at this point, lads? Uh, I think Pascal Valde have been attacking more, Neil. They've had the possession, but yes. North Melbourne are very smart at letting teams have possession. Yes, I don't think North Melbourne have had a shot on goal yet, Neil. It's an old tactic yeah. from Sakos. Let him have the possession and then beat him on the counter-attack. It is Pascal Valde looking dangerous. Oh, Caro! Caro the face there. And there's just senses that uh, Pascal Valde are going to get this opener. Well, they get comfortable. Well, Christos has been the busy of the keepers. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Sim hardly tested. It's De Silva. His good buddy Caro streaming out wide. One man wall. It'll be dangerous, one man wall. Bang! Oh, bang! That's come off uh, Renegu, I think. No, it's a corner. I believe it was a save from Christos. Christos, yes. That was too good to call. Corner kick. De Silva checks back in! Oh, oh, could have missed one, Mark. Look, really, Pascal. Oh, that's for sure. The lines are roaring at this stage. What's happened to the review man not coming up uh, to tonight's game in the commentary box, Neil? No, he's got a sore throat. Uh, we've got something stuck in the middle of it. Big bundle of froth in that throat. Could be anything. The, the, the lads, I mean, we're frothing over El Clasico. How good have the first couple of games been tonight? Oh, fantastic. Oh, 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 oh
what's he doing? He's had a fight for his He's had a fight for his young son, boy, so has never played in that classic game, match. So he'll be going through a few nerves. Very lucky. Did he need to uh, handle? Obviously, oh, he knew what did he was he doing. Handle? Did he actually handle? Yes. Let's have a look. This is a red card, too. Let's have a look. It's up to the referee. He did handle it. Yes. Oh, the he's referee. Got a, he's got a red card. Got a yellow card for it. Look, in the context of the game, it could have been a red card either way. Yellow card is appropriate. Oh, and almost a shot. Look, either way, you could get it. It uh, goes either way in these kind of big clash games. Goalkeepers do tend to get away with a bit more than others. I know myself uh, playing as goalkeeper. That's a hard time. Got away with slight tackles. Zero, zero. It's the case, isn't it, Chief? A bit of leniency for heading into this one. A tight one as oh, usual. Oh, Milton Sackle's got that down there. Milton Sackle, not his team there. Let's go. Oh, 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 how good is this? That is Nike team where you get good where... prices. Yeah, it's a lot. Well, if you're not winning... Prices have been reduced, haven't they, Chief? They're reduced, Chief, but now, but if you're not wearing Nike, you're not wearing anything. Yes. yes. I think Giants want to get that big ball in the way. Pascoval have been the better side, you know, haven't they? First half, but that means absolutely Jack Cracker Jack. Obstruction call there. there. He's cutting out of the game. Correct and decision uh, by He's gone for his Assistant team. manager Spizzer there getting into the so air. Smart, smart point kick by Barry Hithos, experienced player. Because uh, the sewer was away. He was on his bike, wasn't he? He was on his bike, crew smart. Oh! oh! It's a good goal, pigeon hold, he didn't need much room, let's have another look at it. Oh, that's... Oh, that's unbelievable, I'll tell you something, he's right up there for MVP. That oh. is a ridiculous finish. It's like he has Nasser in his ear, live oh. by satellite, giving him the calculations for that one. And, and he slotted it into perfection. And you have to think, of course, Mark is thinking it's going to go out, that's how perfect it was. Oh, ridiculous. The game's going to heat up now, the goal's open. Sam Boyce of the Clever Mile, he's cut now, I think he's coming out a bit too much. He is, so isn't he there? Well, take it easy, that's definitely a free kick. Cooper getting tripped over. And North Melbourne, what can they manufacture with this free kick? Leading up, there's been already, uh, there's already been a couple of incidents off the ball. But what a tough game to uh, referee in this, in this uh, out plus go. You've got everyone. <laughs> How tough this is. Oh, here we go. Barrieto! Oh! oh! It is a tough game when you've got Milton Sackles and Spiro Cargas barking out instructions too cheap. Oh, look at that! And it's hit the post! And have a look at it. Bang! Lads, oh. at, at, at this point, does Pasco Valve sit back and wait for the counter attack and hold on to this one goal lead? Oh, I don't no, know what I'll... they're going to do, but they uh, can't sit back for any time to go. Look, I'll, I'll definitely go for another one. Get them, get two new up and then have a close shot. Have a look North at Melbourne are going to come! He was threatening, hit the post, but this time through the legs of Carlo. And a ripper goal supports the neck. Get that ball in, I thought it was going to rip it. Well, Ingram just got a foot onto it. It just helped to carry it in. And the kings of the side ball here, the Invincibles North Melbourne, have done it again. And that's why these clashes are the ultimate. And it's a very hard game for quality players to come in. Oh, that's just your Oh, Ooh, the boy is going hard. hard. Play on, more fair, more fair. Stop here. The game does stop as uh, Cooper caught whiplash from a big train of Shreven. He's joined uh, D and Ush there. He might need a neck brace after this one because he's run into a speeding oh, truck. Good decision by the referee and he's got... Oh, the neck went right back. And well done by the referees. Free kick and the ball came back to Vascova to uh, North Melbourne as uh, they attack. Well done, Christos. Came quickly off his line, sliding. Well done, then. Good patience by Priori. Finds the feet of Cooper. He's dangerous streaming forward. The Pasco Vale lads know, though, we cannot let him get a shot off. We've already conceded to Barrientos' long shot. And De Silva flies in with a vicious tackle here. Yes. All ball, though. Just touched it a bit too much. Christos said, really right to get that. Came with both feet, a little bit dangerous, but nevertheless got the ball cleanly. He didn't have the studs up, Chief, if that makes no, sense. No, he didn't. He had the... Uh, Dragged him along the floor. No, he's clean. well, clean as. Perhaps uh, Sherman uh, Gully having the uh, heavy touch on the ball. 
The silver, what a beautiful way to ball to shove in for North Melbourne plays back though. It's Cooper on that left foot. The, 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 the uh, aerial, uh, of the, uh, the laser adding to the goal. Precision though, usually gets them on target. Shark Oh, brilliant play! Is it in? Oh! oh it looked like it was making its way in, Chiefy. The crowd was excited for this one. Almost an own goal by user Jason Berrientos. And, and, and the thing is, you were saying Trevin's played on a smaller court and it shows, doesn't it? Oh, he's he's making it his own out there. His quality, is he going to transform it though on the uh, scoreboard? Because he's a goal scorer and he uh, tends to score lots of goals. He, he, he won the... Uh, yes, league lead goal, didn't he, Chief? I believe so, yes. From out of nowhere in the bottom side, he still managed to win that award. Well, he, uh, tend, I think he ended up playing with about three players on the field and he still won. Oh, and Blackburn goes down, free kick awarded. Can the Silver do it again? What a game, we're frothing, it's hard. Two-man wall. Oh! Oh, quite striking, a good save by Chris Oh! Oh, Paul Gisele, man out of there by Tiagi, man out of He's very aggressive today, he's seeing a very aggressive figure out there. Oh, he's not happy again. And he's managed to niggle Chavin here. I think he's been awarded a yellow card. He's been given a yellow card. Is that his second or third? No, that's his first card, isn't it? Yes. That's his, it's his first cheeky. You see, they're turning into a bit of an episode of the Three Stooges, a few slaps and yes. uh, clobbers over the head. I'm su surprisingly Ernie Simpson hasn't played more game time, uh, Cheeky. Yes, and Blackburn as well. Yes, because usually Ernie usually Ooh. follows in his big game. You know, he usually gets a goal or two for his great passes. Always right. pops up at a goal, always. And Harvey seen him tonight. What's up, hey. What's up, Phil Price? Oh, 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 Over the top, and it's uh, all Pascal at this stage in the last couple of attacks. And uh, Christos covers it beautifully. Four minutes left, scores tied, 1-1. One, one. Okay. game. You know, it's been quite, gives away, ball, the ball away to Thiago. Riori cuts in over the top, and uh, Dali, I save Carlo, what can he do? Loses out to Barry Antos. It's a scrap, it's a scrap with a scrap. And Dali coming in, all the ball's gone wide. Barry Antos. Costa. 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 He still has it. Oh, this is what he's playing here. This is an AFL game almost. No, Have it's a look. Not, it's better than AFL, that's for sure. Johnny Barrientos. Because in uh, the V-League North Melbourne win titles in the AFL, they don't win anything. Renagi, this is dangerous. De Silva turns straight into Cooper. He's got to lay it off. North Melbourne on the counter attack now. It's getting exciting. The fans on the edge of the seats. I can see the saliva pouring out. Oh, there's froth everywhere, Chief. Get the Have a look at that. What a beautiful view there from all the patrons. And it goes right around to the other side. And I wish we uh, had the opposite. Oh, a camera on the other end. He's a goal here. Oh! What a goal, Costa. Great yeah, Costa. What was the thinking putting Andre Carroll into goals when it's, the scores are 1-1? One, one? Why, why did that happen for, Chiefy? Why? What's going on? The cycle's ridiculous. Costa mix up Simsic in a way. That is absolutely ridiculous from Pascal. But North Melbourne will take it any day of the week. Yeah, but what I can't understand, Chief, it's 1-1. One, one. Why did you sub your goalkeeper? Well, they need the win because uh, I think it's four points if they lose. Yeah, but if it stays a draw, will still remain one, one point. point. Right? But still, they're going to rely on results and they're going for the win. But uh, we've got a send off as Thiago Priori. He's made a nuisance out of himself. An absolutely disgrace. And he's still carrying on. I've seen a hit the referee. Ever, yes. He's manhandled the he's referee. He's manhandled the referee, Chief. This is going the to commission be... will, deal, will, be, will deal with the Aga Puron in a severe way. You cannot manhandle the referee. And Milton's on the field. And Milton Sarkis again. What are you doing, Milton, out there? Get off the ground. This is a shambles. And uh, that is something that we don't want to see here in the Premiership. We know that there's a lot in stake. Oh, that's so over the top. But that is totally unacceptable, and uh, we will watch that. And we'll watch the other CCTV if we have to. Lads, two and a half minutes left. Pasco Vale, can they get a goal? Like we're saying, though, they, they need Chris two. Oh, and Christos. Oh, and a slight tackle, and that was very dangerous. Oh, oh that is just not good, lads. If they were intending to kick the ball at Drowsy oh. well, he still gets taken out there. Let's just see the replay. Oh, that's disgusting. Where's fair play gone out the window? You should be ashamed of yourself, Adam Kumo, Miz Arpendi. Look at, look at, oh, look at, 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 look
Pedic take out Cooper's leg here. He has the same intent and he's tackled his own player in order to kick the ball at someone's head. Why is that? There are little kids, there are parents, there are people that have come watch this game. That is a disgrace. We don't want to see the premiership. We know what's at stake. North Melbourne have done superbly, apart from a couple of incidents that we've just seen that we don't want to see in the premiership. Look, where's fair play gone, Chief? It, mean, it, oh. sh it shows how much the premiership is at stake, but you don't want to win it under these oh, circumstances. Oh, my tackles are flying in. What does it mean if you're remembered as a team who wins under these circumstances? Well, it, pretty much it's not fair, but the overall fact that the kids and everyone that's watching this will go away, and it's not a good look. It's not a good image, Chief. Not a good look. Not a good image at all, Chief. Nevertheless, uh, it's been an absolute... Oh! They definitely have one and a half hands on it. And Three games remaining. Well, you can't <coughs> see the Invincibles losing it from here. Lads, did you see the assistant manager, uh, Spizzer Cargis, fist pump our way up here as if he was on an episode of Jersey Shore? What's that about, lads? I'm not sure. But a great ball by Cooper. For some reason, these guys, they're not going through the Vipers. They think everyone is against them. And uh, I don't know why, but it was a brilliant game. Marred by a few bad, bad incidents. I'm still shell-shocked over that incident, Chief. I'm speechless. I can't believe it's happened. Says the game is over. And North Melbourne have got the one and a half hands on the trophy. And they win it quite convincingly. And I can assure you that uh, this will, be, will not be taken lightly by the Commission. Oh, lads, is that the Premiership wrapped up? It definitely is. Congratulations. Great game, marred by a couple of incidents, Chiefy. Fully deserves the victory in North Melbourne, the Vipers. Didn't have to resort to those, but congratulations, here's Milton. I'm here with the manager from the North Melbourne Football Club, Milton Sakos. These two great clubs always produce great games. This was no exception. Ah, oh, fantastic game. Very tough from the start. We knew there wasn't going to be much in it, just like every game we play with Pasco Vale. Um, they were motivated, they put in. Uh, great first goal, we were goal down. The boys rallied, we got the equaliser, um, you know, great, just just discipline at the end to defend with a man down and, you know, uh, the last goal was pretty much, you know, just something that they had to push on, they didn't get the sub right, which opened up the door, but at the end for us, it's a it's a good break, but there's three games to go, so, you know what I mean, it's just good winning, that's it. I thought Christos was solid all night for you guys, really pulled off some important saves. Yeah, look, he, he didn't give him much to look at because he closed them down early, whether it was on the deck sliding out or whether it was standing up and making himself big. I told him at half-time he couldn't, couldn't do nothing against that goal. You know what I mean? Uh, sorry, not at half-time, just after half-time. I said, keep his head up. That was a great free kick by Joe. Milton, your four points clear. Would you say one hand is on the trophy at the moment? Not really. If we had one game, maybe. But three games, and, you know, I remember back, you know, in our first series where... We drew against the bottom side, and it ultimately cost us a championship. So every team's uh, going to be gunning for us. Uh, look, it's it's a game, and we the philosophy we have with the boys is that celebrate the win, but look forward to next week and get the points there too. This great club, North Melbourne, have done back to back, and back in 27, 208, and 28 season. Do you think this team can do the same? Oh, well, if we can, it'd be great. Uh, no disrespect to the boys back then. Different times, I don't think. Tanzel Bezo was involved in those great yeah, teams. Yeah, Andy Vlahos, yeah, yeah, yeah. there were yeah, some no. great names there. Yeah. Nick De Corrales, the manager, Alex oh, Estefil. Look, so, yeah, look, you could be part of great history. Oh, look, we'd like to think that you know the club's been doing well and whatever we can do to make it better is fantastic. You're missing Fernando de Moraes tonight. Yeah. Are we eventually going to see him? Look, uh, I spoke to Fernando during the week and I said to him to relax, you know, we've got a full list of boys. Uh, our boys, more so than using Fernando, you know, they've got to learn to play on their own. I think they've proved that uh, over the last maybe 30 games or something. Well, so, he's only been here for one game this season and the yeah. boys have done superb without him. So, but he's a bonus being here. Oh, look, to, to have him come in adds an extra element to the side, a sense of calmness and, you know, the opportunity to do something different when it's one-on-one, -on -one, there's no doubt about that. But we can't dwell on the fact he's not playing. I know he lo he'd love to play. He's got other commitments at the moment. He's just recovering from some, you know, not a serious injury, but it was a major injury. And we wish him, you know, we've spoken to him and we said, 
get well, and when you're ready, come back. You're always, you know, he's part of the club. You're involved in the League Cup, the Futsal's Cup, and the Premiership. Do you think your boys are capable, this squad, of doing the treble? You've done the double last season. That would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, I oh, reckon it would be fantastic. Um, You've got a great squad. You had six on the bench, seven today. There's Shane Alin and Jad Mishi. There's still Hara Yashinao. Yeah. How do you manage these boys and keep them more happy? It's a pleasure to you and Spiro. I think it's, uh, it's the boys being friends and understanding that at times we can't play everybody. They're happy to be part of the club. Um, we try and rotate and give everyone a go. Uh, I think there's a couple of boys that missed out tonight and one or two others that didn't get much game time, but not one of them complained and I apologise to them afterwards, but they understand. You were pretty composed during the game, like, not like other games. Usually you're more intense. Today you were more relaxed. Was that the way you wanted to go into the game, be more relaxed? Yeah, because, oh, look, I mean, relaxed in the sense that you don't want you know, anxiety rubbing off on the players. My major thing was not to get any send-offs because the games are always hot. Uh, try and be calm in terms of telling the boys to be calm and focus on you know, defending rather than aggressively getting involved in something that may cost the side. Uh, I thought Thiago, you know, sending off was a little bit harsh for a second yellow, you know what I mean? Um, but that happens. And Look, Milton, they've got the toughest job in the world to do out there. It's hard to Look, please. Quick games, play. quick games, you know, smaller call like this. They're not going to get everything, right? I understand that. And we never take anything off the court. You know, if we have a yell on the court, it's just part of the game. But we have no, you know, no, nothing else to say to the refs after that. We just start again. Milton, well done once again. Congratulations. And good luck for the rest of the season and in the Cups. Good luck. Well done tonight. And it's a pleasure having you here, mate. Well done. No, thank you very thank much. You, mate. Thanks, thank guys. You. All the best. There you have it, Milton Sackos, the best in the business. Doing the double, that full premiership for North Melbourne. Almost three more games. Great game, fully deserved the win, lads. Just a disappointing end to the game. I'm sure we don't want to see that here again in the premiership. Ashburn and Metro coming up.